Wally. Pretty sweet Wally voices, wouldn't you say? Um, yeah, I learned how to do that today. And, uh, yeah, my coffee's cold. Um, yeah, I learned how to do that today. Uh, I was watching a... It's for, it's for a uni project. I was watching tutorial... Not tutorial, sorry. Um, kind of like the making of uh, the Wally sound with uh, Ben Burt, who's the sound designer, and he did Star Wars and stuff like that as well. So he's a pretty big deal. Um... Yeah, I was watching his stuff and uh, kind of like trying to take kind of note of things that I heard and like the voice sound and stuff. And then I was looking at tutorials and they were kind of like one of the main things that kept cropping up was granular synthesis. What is granular synthesis? Uh, well, I'm about to tell you. It's actually a really easy concept to grasp. It's not scary. It sounds scary, but it, don't worry. It's not scary. So here we have my plugin, which is Omnisphere 2. Um... I'll I'll explain what I kind of started with. What I did was where where wherever I can find it. I'm terrible at navigating this. Right. Wally. Me saying Wally. Wally. Just I've thrown that in th as a sample, so I've got It's nice and all sampled and stuff like that. Uh right. So Omnisphere is a really stupidly expensive plugin, like four hundred quid. Uh, it's worth it, but not for just granular synthesis. And um, there are plenty. There are other alternatives that are way cheaper, and I'll explain them in the end. Um, but right now, we'll look at we'll look through all the kind of controls that we've got here and stuff, so you can kind of get an idea of what granular is. Um, right. So I'm going to throw that up just for um, demonstration purposes. Right. Uh, so. Wally. Plain voice, with the granulizer on. Wally. What the fuck? Yeah, exactly. Um. Right, this is a good little visual here to kind of explain what granular is. Uh, essentially, it's sort of like you've got an audio file and like an audio sample. And what you do is, um, if you put it in a granular synthesizer, it will take tiny little snippets of various points in that file and kind of like blend it, blend them together in kind of weird and wacky ways. Uh, it's super creative and experimental. It's like really fun. Um, you can see like, um, I'll, it'll be easier to see if I turn the intensity down. So this is kind of like, like uh, displaying the number of grains that we have. Wally. So you can hear like it's kind of, it's a weird delay. It's kind of like playing random, ba random parts of the uh, audio file back. Wally. It's really strange. Um, so if I put even less grains, Wally. like you can hear. It. But if you if you like add more grains or increase this intensity. Wally. 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 Then holy fuck, right? So Wally. yeah. Wa wa and you can even increase the grain depth, it gets even more. Kind of. <laughs> now this is super intensive on my CPU. You can see, like, I can't even move this slider right anymore. And I've got, like, an 8-core CPU, so, I mean, like, this is... Because it's just using so much sound simultaneously, like, separate sound simultaneously, it's just insane. So, um, yeah. I don't need grain depth for that. That kind of just kind of... Oh, it's hard to explain. It kind of like thickens the sound up, I guess. Wally, 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 Wally. Now, one thing you're definitely going to want to sort out is the smoothing. As you can hear, it's kind of Wally, crackly Wally. and horrible. Imagine that crackling is your ADSR and your attack is at zero. Wally. That's basically what that kind of like crackling popping is. So smoothing gives it a little, f like a very small fade in. Wally, Wally, Wally. So it's far less like the, the attack's much smoother and it's, it'll get rid of that crackling sound. Spreads very self-explanatory. Wally, Wally. Just spreads it around the stereo field. Super, super easy to understand. Detuning. Wally. <laughs> uh, also self-explanatory. Uh, it sounds it sounds like he's a bit scared. Or... Maybe if there's a point in this uh, video that I'm doing where he's like riding a roller coaster or something. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, this this side of it is kind of, I've not really got into this that much. Um, pitch grains. That's uh, basically some of these. You can see your grains here. It's selecting a number of them, and they'll be pitch modulated basically. And your interval controls what, like, um, range of uh, semitones they could 
uh, modulate between. Wally. 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 It's completely random and it's kind of it's kind of weird, but I, I, I don't want this. I don't want that. It sounds kind of crap. Uh, but yeah, they're the, they're the kind of main controls. So what I'm going to focus on is the intensity mainly. Wally. Just to get that kind of metallic Wally. voice. Wally. Wally. Now the only Wally. it's it's still very it's very human and flat and monotone and boring, you know, like me. And Wally. it's it needs it needs it needs something. So one of the things I discovered was like Wally's the pitch in his voice, it goes up and down. So I'll want to modulate the pitch somehow. So if I go to my sample itself, which is oh I, I seriously can't navigate this at all. Right, okay. Sample. Boom. Uh, wheel. I'm going to put it on the wheel and modulate the course pitch because I want quite a quite a uh, large pitch range. And let's see what that does. Now that pitch wheel is very sensitive right now, so what I'm going to do is take the sensitivity down a bit. Wally, 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 Wally. That's better. That feels much more comfortable. Right. So that's that's the first part. It's sounding a bit bit better now. Wally, wow. Yeah. That could it couldn't pass for the film, but it's it's better. Uh, so the next thing, um, what you'll notice is when I increase the pitch. Wally, 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 wow. It actually speeds up the audio. Wally, Wally. Uh, one thing I did to counter this was, if I go back to my <coughs> granulizer, uh, this uh, speed function here. Wally, 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 Wally. That controls the playback speed, as you can tell. So if you modulate this, um, or instead of, can I, I'll, I'll put, assign it to the uh, mod wheel as well, so it's going up and down too. Wally. Wally. So now when it gets, when I pitch up, it kind of hangs. Wally, 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 Wally. That's pretty cool. Um, Wally, Wally. It just does, it's, it sounds Wally. cooler. I think it sounds, it sounds closer to the actual, um, the actual thing uh, to me. This intensity is not sounding quite right. Wally, Wally, Wally. Wally, 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 Wally. Maybe increase the pitch a little bit more. Wally, 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 Wally. And that's that's pretty much it. Uh, let's have a listen to the the ones that I did before. Get out of the way. Uh, Wally, Wally. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Those ones are compressed, Wally. so that's why this one's a little bit quieter. But yeah, no, that's that's pretty much it. Like that's a Wally voice. Wally. So close. If you compare it to the actual film Wally voice, it should sound pretty similar. Um, one more thing to show on the uh, granulizer, uh, wherever it is, getting lost again is uh, this position slider. And what you can do with this is, if you imagine the this slider here is now the entire length of your sample, and this basically, it, you can choose where you bounce on the sample you want to start. So if I kind of, you can see it plays through it. So you can modulate that as well. Wow. And you can come up with some wow. really weird kind of uh, robot voices type things. I think my Omnisphere has just crashed. Oh, there we go. Something happened. Don't know what it was. Wow. Just pretend like nothing's going to break because I've had a lot of stuff break into wow. Uh Yeah. So, uh, what I did with that, it's, it's actually cra it's a crazy kind of like... Wow. 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 It's kind of like a screaming noise. Uh, 
I could tweak that a bit more, but I've actually got a number of pre-made ones here. And these were just made from um, from uh, modulating the pitch wheel and just like those parameters that I just used. And I got about six takes and just put them into their own uh, tracks. Now, uh, to accompany these amazing samples, we have Captain Wally himself. Uh, and I'll just play through these one at a time and you can kind of get an idea of what I've done here. <laughs> yeah, that last one's a little bit... Uh, sounds like a robotic elephant. Uh, that last one I actually made from combining this uh, first one with another uh, sample that I made that's not actually on here right now. Um, and it, is, it, it, <laughs> it sounded good at the time, but now it's kind of... It does sound a bit... A bit like an elephant, which is kind of weird, so I don't think I'll be using that. Um, but yeah, that was just done by modulating the position. Uh, the, uh, the, 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 the position bit here. And uh, playing about with the intensity and stuff like that. And yeah, it's just kind of... That's fine. It's all cool. So, that's pretty much it. But um, as I was saying, Omnisphere is pretty... It's expensive. You don't, you don't want to do it if you're just like looking to play about with granular synthesizers. So, um, what you want to look for, I've uh, found there's a, there's, there's, there's a few options. Uh, one notable option is something called uh, the Mangle. Uh, I'll, put, uh, I'll put this on screen, these uh, options. And it's it looks it looks really cool. Like um, I'm probably gonna get it myself. Actually, like the, the um, it's got very very nice visuals. You can actually see um, the visualizer shows you where the particles are or the grains are kind of like repeating on the audio file and stuff like that. And it seems a lot more musical. One of the problems I actually had with like Omnisphere was trying to make it sound kind of musical. Um, but yeah, the mangle it looks it looks really cool. It looks like a really fun tool to use, and it's only about twenty pounds, uh, nineteen pounds ninety nine. So that's a it's a really good option. I'm actually going to buy that myself. Um, and the other there's another option called a uh, Hadron, which is completely free. Uh, I've not looked too much into that one, but I mean it's free, so you can try it yourself and give it and uh, like let me know, let me know in the comments what's it like. Um, yeah, so there's some there's some really good uh, options. So um, yeah, granular synthesis, super easy. So when you get your uh, synthesizers, where's my Omnis here? I've lost it. Where is it? Where's it gone? It's disappeared. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, when you get uh, your synthesizer, so um, to do this, like, just look for things like intensity. That might be named something different, because this controls, like, the number of grains. So maybe it could be called grain count or something like that. Anything like that. Smoothing to try and get rid of that horrible, like, popping noise. Like, imagine it isn't enveloped, like your attack. And um, modulate your pitch with your wheel, and then modulate the speed as well. Uh, uh, like the time stretch, and you can also like if you can't actually modulate that within the plugin, you always have the option to, um, within your DAW, create an envelope, uh, like an automation envelope and auto and a time stretch, the uh, automation time stretch, or even like cut the file up. It's a bit of a long, more long-winded way to do it, but cut the file up and time stretch each bit, each like section a little bit more. Um, that's only if you can't find an option for this speed. That's, uh, that's pretty much it. So, uh, yeah. Let's listen to Wally's screen one more time. Like an elephant. That's not the good one. Where's the good one? This is the good one. This was a good one. Yeah, I'm gonna use that one. Poor guy. Uh, killed his little bug friend. Okay, guys. Uh, happy granular synthesizing.